Microsurgery is defined as a surgery which involves uh, attaching very, very small structures, less than three millimeters. Um, super microsurgery, which is what I also do, is the technology and science of attaching structures right down to 0 0.3 millimeters. Now, this is probably a very nerdy explanation for anybody, but what it means is this. You're watching this video today, all right? And you're looking at me and my resolution, and that's something called pixels. So on your phone, equally, if the pixels are smaller, the resolution is higher. Similarly, the finer the operation, if you, if you have a surgeon who goes right down to the minute detail, the results are better. Uh, overall, you get nerve sensation, lymphatic surgery, uh, movements are better because it's just attention to detail. So effectively, from a philosophical point of view, microsurgery is surgery with a very fine detail to attention. So I mean, microsurgery, it's a technique, but you can use it for attaching vessels, nerves. Uh, for example, if uh, you want to do a face transplant, you take a face from another person and you put it to another person. You cannot just put the face there. You have to attach every single artery or vein or nerve and lymphatic supply. Similarly, when you're doing a microsurgery or doing breast reconstruction, and I do a lot of facial reanimation work, it is the art of going down to absolutely every tiny little nerve, going down to it and attaching it to get the best possible results. And this involves the use of very fine equipment, microscopes which can go down to 30 or 40 times magnification, and a lot of training and uh, focus training and experience. Microsurgery can be utilized to, train, to treat any condition. Essentially, it is used to reconstruct and rebuild a face or any part of the body. For example, if somebody has had uh, open heart surgery uh, and they have a wound in the chest that is not healing, you can take a piece of tissue from another part and attach it very, very minutely at every level to reconstruct and rebuild the chest. For the face, which is what I do, someone would say Bell's palsy or facial palsy. If they have faces that won't move, they are paralyzed or a hand that is not paralyzed, microsurgery can be used to reattach those nerves in a proper way so they can start moving. Another common example of microsurgery is that if someone has their hands chopped off at work and they lose their hand, we can attach and reattach the hand within a certain time. Beyond that, if they come in long term, you can even do a hand transplantation or a face transplantation, as I mentioned. This is the power of microsurgery. The most common procedure is probably what's called a free tissue transfer, uh, which means that you transplant uh, nerves or skin or whatever you need from one part of the body to another part. <laughs> The common example is after breast reconstruction, women who have breast removed, you can take, you can do a tummy tuck, take the skin from the tummy, and then put that skin into the breast so they have a breast and rebuild. So that's important in breast cancer surgery. You can also use it after head and neck surgery where big tumors from the removed from the face, and you then take skin or muscle from another part of the body to fill in the gap so that they can rebuild their faces again. So free functioning muscle transfers, another one where you can actually make muscles move and hands move. These are the most common examples of microsurgery. Uh, laparoscopy is keyhole surgery, uh, whereas microsurgery is uh, operating under the microscope. So in one, for example, Laparoscopic surgery is like this. Uh, you imagine a room that you can't get into. You don't want to break the wall to get into the room. So you make two small holes and you put a camera in and you do your work through those two holes. That is laparoscopic surgery. Microsurgery is, for example, there's something in that room that is wrong. There's a very, very small wire which is disconnected. And you then take a microscope, go down to those very, very tiny vessels and nerves and repair it at a very, very micro level very, very high definition to give the best possible results. For example, in my work, suppose a nerve has been cut to the face and a patient is paralyzed. So the nerve to the face, the eye, the nerve to the lip, the nerve to the nose, each separate nerve has to go to that particular organ. But if you don't do microsurgery and you just lump the whole nerve together, then you have someone who, when they try to smile, they are closing their eye. When they're closing their eye, their lip is pulling downwards. 
So microsurgery, as I mentioned, attention to detail. You're going to get right down to the nitty-gritty and do things properly. It's a bit like looking at artwork, you know, very broad strokes, or someone who goes down to the minutest detail. So microsurgery is a philosophy of detail. 